perhaps you would like to upgrade your bearings on, say, your one how or maker select. Well, here are a few things that you should know about bearings and layer skipping. So, if you are like me and you bought the V2, you had these bearings on your printer. And these bearings, they come in this aluminum pillow block, and they are just ball bearings, and they work pretty fine. But maybe you want to, maybe you wanted to upgrade. Well, you would just get a longer one for the upgrade. Now, of course, this one's in a printed block, but you get the idea. Now. The version 2.1s come with the longer bearings. So you wouldn't have this. You would have the longer bearing. But let's say you wanna you wanna go quiet and you wanna go IGIS. Well I have IGIS on my printer. And they are not they're not hard to install. They're hard to uh, actually get to a same level of movement as these or at least in my experience and in the experience of another user that I've talked to now like I said all my eyes are on my printer so these are some PLA that I've printed and they work great as an example so I can move it back and forth relatively easily and it's the same with the edges but whenever you put multiple together it gets harder to move them and with edges you'll be using three three of them for your y and your x and so you might find yourself doing layer shifting and the main way that you can combat that is you can do like a friend of mine did which was sit there before you install them and run them back and forth on the, on the rod to try to lessen that effect or do like I did and just stick them on there and let the printer go through its upsets of wanting to do layer skipping until it's at a level where it just quits doing it completely now I swapped to I just after I had swapped to the upgraded bearings and one of them seized up on me and I found out that it was seized up when doing this print right here so if you can see right here there's a layer shifting and that was on my Y axis and that was from a bearing that was seizing up so I wanted to try out IGES. They're very quiet. So I bought some and I tried them out. And just to show you as an example of it without layer shifting, there you go. Now I tried them out and they were working pretty well. But boy, has it been one layer skip after another whenever it comes to the X axis. So I just printed this fella off on my printer and he looks pretty good. I'm pretty amazed at how clean he came out and this was using solutane. But at the bottom I've got a little tiny bit of layer shifting. And I know, I know some of the people out there will go, well what if it's your belts or you're not in proper alignment? I've, I've messed with the belts multiple times. I've messed with the alignment of the axes together. And I know that it's just the eye just wearing in. Because now if I go and I move the X back and forth, it is much smoother. But I'm still getting it every now and then. So this was an 8 hour print and it only layer shifted once and barely. 
So it's a sign that things are heading towards no shifting at all. But just as, this is kind of just in case you want to get some ideas, some things that you might want to look into, which would be possibly doing like my friend did and just running them back and forth on the rod beforehand to sort of get rid of the to wear them down a little bit more so that way they're much easier to do together uh, I tried using PLA ones and they would not move at all they seize up whenever there's three of them together on the, on the axis I'm assuming if I sat down and I wore these down even more I might could but I'll just stick with the eye, just I'll let them wear themselves in all the way because they have mostly worn in now. This is the first ever layer shift I've gotten while using the roll of Solutech and that's ever halfway through. And this was an eight hour print and it only did it once. And conceivably that could have been from curl up grabbing a hold of the fan shroud, although I don't think so. And the reason why I don't think so is there is a little bit of an underhang on this, but there's not that much. So I don't think that it was a curl up issue. I think it was just the IGIS bearings giving one little final grab or seize up. But I'm not the only one that's had this issue. My my friend had it too, and he even said it to me that whenever he first put his on, he was frustrated, but now he loves them. So, just a little quick tip on the uh, I just if you want to upgrade to them. I, I mean, I recommend them, they're more quieter, but if you get layer shifting, it may just be the I just wearing in onto the rod. So, with that said, I hope this has been helpful.